Last week, we took a huge step. I told Ari that I was falling in love with him, and he told me that he was falling deeply in love with me back. I was kind of nervous about introducing you to my family. Yeah. They're gonna be kind of protective. Yeah. And I think they're probably gonna be really skeptical of like this whole situation, mm -hmm. but they'll probably be skeptical of you too. So tell me, what do you see in Lauren that might be different? Oh um, I've always just been really drawn to her. When are you gonna be ready to settle down? Are you there? Yes, I'm past are you? there. <laughs> Red flags to me would be that he's uh, self-centered, worried about himself, it's all about him. He needs to be willing to protect my daughter with his life. You know, I just want to let you know that I'm very grateful for your service. My daughter seems to like him a lot, so if he proves me wrong, I'll, I'll kill him. I'm falling in love with her. Really? Yeah. It's been incredible. But what about these other people? How are you handling that? I feel like that's the difficult part about all this, is just to really be open enough to allow some other relationships to build. So you're not compartmentalizing each of these remaining relationships? I am. You I mean, are? I, yeah. I mean, that kind of worries me. You have to in a little way, because if you don't, you don't allow yourself to really make a, a clear decision. Are you saying the same things to these other people? There's differences in all relationships, you know? But I just wonder if you can always be devoted and loyal to that one person after going through this experience with these compartmentalized relationships. I don't want to see Lauren get hurt, of yeah. course. I don't want to see her hurt, hurt either. Thank it you. would kill me. If this goes to a proposal, I would really love your blessing. And I know it's a very difficult thing to ask for, but I'd be very honored. And I have to revert back to I trust Lauren. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to have faith in that. So um, mm -hmm. I just want you guys to be sure that it's real before there's that final commitment at the end of that. I feel like I'm falling in love with him. Really? Yeah. In such a short time. Yeah. Huh. I told him that I was falling in love with him in Italy. And he was like, I just wanted to tell you that I am falling deeply in love with you, too. I mean, I just wonder, because there's, and I, I hate to mention the other girls, but I know that he's like a very honest and genuine person. And I don't think he would have said that to me if he was saying that to other people. Hmm. Part of me is scared because I don't really know where his relationships are with the other girls. If he chooses someone else over me, that's going to be devastating. I feel like very strongly about him. I don't want to have to say goodbye, ever. I just want them to feel comfortable because if it is us in the end, you know, we're going to need our family support right. because it's yeah. it's not easy, you know. It and, gets harder. Yeah. I mean, it's always nerve-wracking bringing somebody home and having your family meet them. Let's do it. Let's meet the Kufrin Johnson family. I'm ready. I think it's way too fast, ridiculously fast. Becca needs more time with this guy if this is the real deal. She's not going to say, yeah, he's the one I want to marry, yeah. Like, it could be an engagement and a proposal. And I um, told him coming into this, if you were to ask for anyone's approval, it would be my mom's, because obviously I don't have dad here. And I mean, like, would you feel ready if he did that? No. OK. I feel very strongly for Becca. And I'm definitely falling for her. Would you say she's falling for you? I think so. OK. I'm definitely falling for her. Mm -hmm. And she makes me really happy. Mm -hmm. I love that you're feeling things. I love yeah. that you're going with your heart a little bit. It just feels good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you should feel good in that feeling, just because I am falling for you. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely falling for Kendall. Right. And. I really feel like there is this great potential there. And if that potential gets to a point where it turns into an engagement, mm -hmm. that would be amazing. I definitely see myself falling for you. And it's scary and extremely exciting. Mm. Oh. To Ari being in my hometown. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>
the rumors are out there, you know, the kissing bandit. Is that something that I have to look forward to? How can you prove to me tonight that that's yeah. not who you are? I mean, yeah, I guess, like, the I didn't, like, nickname myself. <laughs> but, like, you can't choose your own nickname. Yeah, you know? but that was, like, because of the show the last time. Well, I've heard some stuff about he might, you know, be a ladies' man. Ari? So, but, like, I... So you feel like he's a cool guy? Yeah, like, I try not to pay attention to all that, and I'm just trying to see him for who he is, and, like, I think he's a really stand-up guy. Well, does he make you think that you're the one? I mean, he makes me feel special. The only thing I know about you is what I've read on the internet. Give me some stuff. What well, are you worried about? I'm spo you're supposed to be a playboy. Yeah, that's... Is this true? No, that's completely false. <laughs> if you heard her, I can find you on Google. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bad. laughing, but I'm a little scared. It'd be bad for you. <laughs>